You won. Bing, 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 bing. I think we're live. It is the first Kent Beck Scrum. Uh, Kent Beck, uh, author of Extreme Programming, which um, is a great book. Um, and the whole extreme thing, which uh, I think is just like, as I read it, I'm like, yes, yes we, that, that's that's the way to do it. That's the way we do it. Um, so, uh, I guess, any updates from you, Michael? Nope. Nope. That's easy. Then we can go straight to me in this situation, and I can tell you about what I've been doing. Uh, so this morning, I, I, I kind of been reviewing the AV102 course with the idea that's going to start on next Monday um, and start pulling people in to be uh, TAs for the the MOOC and so on. Uh, yes. So I'm, I'm glad I got started on that. Uh, and then I've been reviewing some pull requests um, with some interesting ones on local support that probably need some more attention in mind, but I've put that to one side in order to focus on website one. Um, yeah, I'm agonizing a lot about where I should be focusing. Where I was focusing today, let's go over here and share the screen here. That seems like a reasonable screen to share, doesn't it? Yeah, fair enough. Um, so we, the main thing I've been working on is, uh, yeah, this clean room branch that you and I started uh, last week. And what I've, what I've done, as well as we got up to a point of, uh, yeah, so um, Brian was suggesting, ah, let's get the Ruby upgrade pulled in. Um, the Raul had, had run that about 10 times over the weekend and still managed to get occasional errors, but felt that it was certainly more stable than things that he'd been playing with previously. And Brian was saying, oh, yeah, well, you know, obviously there'll be some complex we can manage. I tried merging in uh, Brian's branch into our clean room branch, and I ran into various issues, which are documented there, uh, that Iggy hadn't seen, and I pushed that up as a separate... I mean, that might, if you're interested in that, uh, blah, 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 where's it gone? Yeah, that's, that's what this one here. Um, yeah, trying to merge there. So that, that, that's, I, I, I pushed that up, you know, so that people can have a look at it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but so, yeah, having done that and it feeling like, oh, there's like various things and I, I don't, I don't want to burn time on that. And I was like, what should I do this afternoon? And I was, um, you know, I was like, okay, the thing I really want to know is I want to know, can we add documents feature in to Scrum feature and just get that all working? So I, I threw myself into that and it's done, I think. Um, and yeah, and it's, and it's green on here and it's green locally. And I'm not getting any, um, any more Billy, any cache stuff updating when I run it repeatedly now. So I guess I've kind of done that task and yeah, that is somewhat satisfying to, to have done. Um, but it took an hour and a half and yeah, I mean, it, it, it feels like the ongoing process of, I don't know, maybe, maybe quite slow of just making sure that the Billy Cash and everything is updated. And so I'm kind of in a state of, mm, what's the best, best approach for, for all of this. Um, yeah. So that's where I am. And uh, yeah, Raul, Raul had said he was going to be in this uh, stand up. Um, and so that we would kind of look at, should we merge in Brian's thing? Uh, or, or what should we do? And, and stuff, but he's not here. So there we go. Um, yeah. So we could just like, you know, start playing with these things here and this until Raul shows up. Uh, how are you for time? I am a little bit. Yeah. Um, um, I'm on mobile though, so. Oh, okay. You would have to drive. Okay. Um, well, I mean, the the thing I would just, I would, uh, uh, I would say one is, uh, did you have a chance to look at all at the changes that Brian made in his um, updating to Ruby 2.3? Uh, just a little bit on Friday. Yeah. Um, so you, you've got a general idea. And so I, I think, you know, he's probably updated all of the gems that we've he updated. Made, he updated Ruby and he also, didn't he? Uh, is this the pull request where he updated the driver switch to be more reliable or is that different? 
I think it is the same pull request. Yeah, yes, he did. He, he in the same pull request, he updated it to using an around block, and be doing these 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 switches, um, which uh, put, you know potentially will make it more should, should make it more reliable. Um, so I, I guess it's a good thing to have in. Um, and I, I I find myself though it's kind of you know we we've got sort of a bit of a sticky problem here I think with the um uh you know the intermittent failures and so on and I worry that trying to pull in two point three as well just you know what I mean it's like we're always trying to manage the complexity and so if we're pulling in extra stuff. You know, uh, it we take our eye off the ball to a certain ex extent, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, but that has led to well, at least th this is um, annoyingly failing here on Semaphore because it says um, you know the wrong version, the wrong Ruby version, which is, just seems kind of like a ridiculous. Why? Why? Why not? Uh, and, and I th and I guess. Brian has like he fixed that, but for his particular branch, and then I don't I don't know how I did that. It doesn't particularly. I mean, you know, I put that up there so people could see it. Um, more immediately relevant is that. Um, where is it? Yeah, what I was saying to. Brian is that there's kind of a bundle like there's a lot of noise in the log and I get three new failing things and so if I you know in, in order to try and see if the clean room approach is one that's going to bear fruit like I kind of decided okay I'm not going to dive into fixing this and upgrading it to Ruby 2.3 I, I want to find out you know are there any surprises from adding the document feature into the um into the Scrum feature, um, and the surprise, as I as I mentioned in the website one channel, were um, yeah, just the, the, the discus led to a lot of cache thrashing, which I think I've locked down now, but I'm slightly suspicious of. And then there was also Google Analytics stuff in the VCR cache, which made me wonder if the Billy cache kind of gets wrapped in the um, VCR cache. Um, Possibly, which is not ideal if it happens. But um, anyway, so I've got that stable, um, and it's passed, you know, one time on um, uh, on on CI. I, I guess my my strategy, the strategy that I'm imagining for the what have we got here? The strategy that I'm imagining for the clean room is, you know, by adding each. Uh, uh, feature in successively, we get a chance to see, perhaps catch the point at which the problem is introduced. That said, of course, um, you know, uh, there's no, you know, since the problem is intermittent anyway, there's no guarantee of us catching it. But um, at least we can see what all the pieces are, and and potentially leave out the pieces that we don't that we don't need, and that reduces the whole complexity of the thing. But it feels like it would take an, I, I don't know, maybe we could pick up speed once we've done the, the, the prime suspects. Um, probably a good thing to do would be to have uh, this branch now with these two things run repeatedly on, um, say, uh, some slower computers such as um, Rolls. But anyway. Um, but yeah. So I, I guess the, the decision point in some ways is, is whether to pull, like I think if we pull Brian's thing in, then we'd probably need to start the clean room thing again on top of it. Or at least that would probably be simpler than trying to deal with the merge. Um, I don't know. Anyway, do, 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 does do you have any thoughts either way about which way around to do things? Oh no! Cherry pick bribes. So the, 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 you said whichever whichever way around is fine. Yeah. 
you you don't and uh, right I guess you don't, you don't it seem seem like one approach versus another is going to be a lot more work or it's just who knows. You could cherry pick Ryan's stuff and yeah, that's what I'm. I'm sort of more tempted to do is it feels like there's not a, you know, significant number of complex changes from Brian's thing. Um, I'm sort of um, tempted to leave going to Ruby 2.3 until having finished this exploration. Um, the other thing I was worrying about was, oh, if we're deleting all the files and then re-adding them, are we losing all the commit history? But I think if we, if the branch ultimately re-adds like all of the step definition files and so on, then when it ends up merging it, it's kind of like, it's, it seems to maintain the, 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 um, the file history. And I say that because, oh, that, that's no stop. Um, if I look at, um, yeah, here. So, no, no, not that one. What am I doing? This one. Gosh, all of these should go back to the other thing. Door. Um, uh, yeah, so if, if, for example, if I go to the, the Scrum feature in here. Is that not? No, the Scrum's feature which is the one that you know we first recreated. And if I go to view that on our branch, then it still has um, you know, three contributors. What I was worried is if, I, if we delete it and then I've kind of re-added it, then we lose some of the, the history. But it seems, it seems like not. Interesting, and Marcelo's, oh right, so I mean this was originally Marcelo and Marion working on it. And we, we haven't got Mar Marcelo because of some. It's reducing. Right. So because of, like, even though I remove it and then you reintroduce it, we still we still maintain the history. It was making me think that oh, perhaps we should start by um, with a different approach. Um, but it, th th this approach of deleting everything and then gradually adding them back in has the particular merit that. You know, when I we can run like groups of features together, right, in a small set. Because the biggest problem I think that we face trying to track this whole thing down is if we're working with the entire set of cukes, we don't have any good syntax for running like a pair of feature files together. Do you know what I mean? Right. Um, and and that that seems maybe there is like some cucumber syntax for that. Um, I don't know if we can do something like. Can we do? Um, I think you can actually. If you pass it, it have you tried that? I, I, I haven't. No, it's just I was going to say that if we do like here, like features, thumbs feature, and then I do features documents feature. Does that run that pair together? I mean, in some ways. Because I mean, it was it was sort of laborious me pulling back in all the step definitions. Um, I mean, you know, one could be doing like a, 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 a sort of a more detailed cleaning up of all the step definitions um, in the in the process, but um, uh, that's then I think dangerously out of out of scope. Um, I think you know, one of what do what we did, which was and so that's done twenty scenarios. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, that that would be another way to go that would perhaps be um, slightly faster. I mean, we, we could conceivably take um, Brian's uh, Ruby 2.3, excuse me, and then kind of restart... And, and cherry pick from ours into a new clean room thing with kind of what we've learned about. Um, I mean, we can pu pull in, you know, uh, the sort of environment stuff from our clean room thing and, uh, and just leave the step definitions in place and then kind of, and kind of work through it like this, gradually adding in feature. And the, the difficulty is with that is that we, then if that that approach 
prevents us from the, 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 the CI, anything we push to the CI will naturally run everything rather than the subset that we would prefer. So in terms of this, this, the CI kind of helping us, um, you know, I, I guess we could be hacking the CI on our branch to be only running the subset that we wanted to, but... Um, I mean, in some ways, actually, for the CI, if we actually introduced a failing scenario for Semaphore, because you can't rerun it once it's passed, actually introducing a failing feature would could be helpful in terms of being able to run it multiple times on the CI to check whether that's, that's a separate thing. Okay. Hmm. So I think I've kind of, that's kind of convinced me though that um, for the time being, maybe the sensible thing is to carry on on the, um, on the clean room line there. That's nicely, what's the word? Free of additional errors there. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um, but I'd also, I, I, having encountered those issues in 2.3 from Brian's thing, did I run his thing locally from his branch? Um, if I go here. And yeah, mm -hmm. I do like that. Mm. What I noticed when I ran, when I'd, I'd merged his two point three upgrade branch into the uh, our clean room thing, is that it seemed to generate then a lot of noise in the log in here. I guess I had blown away gempile.lock because of the merge issues. That's like, that's a, I mean, there's a, there's a few new tighter checks in um, Ruby 2.3 um, that uh, I fixed in local support previously. Um, and uh, yeah, this is much cleaner there. I don't know, I guess there was something about, yeah, okay. Uh, that's, that's good to know. Um, and I don't get any failures. So the, I think that was something about my merge was clearly, uh, I'll just note, um, uh, I note that this runs quite uh, clean for me locally. Uh, so those extra deprecation messages, etc., and failures in um, uh, when I merged this into the clean room are likely artifacts of that merge. Uh, I did still get this warning, but that's a very simple fix, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So we. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. And then. I don't know. I mean, the big picture is it's sort of frustrating because it feels like, you know, uh, really quite quite a lot of hours could be spent trying to lock this down, only to find that it's, you know, it wasn't locked down. And 
you know, it's all like what are the what are the what are the most appropriate actions to take to to get towards the end goal, which is hopefully delivering um you know, a slightly better user experience for of Agile Ventures when the people are coming through the MOOC. Um, and I reflect that, you know, uh, Mike's obviously having trouble getting to those fixes related to um, the time zones. And I kind of start to wonder if we should take over that, if you know what I mean, and say, you know, it just needs to get done. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh. Is, is is smoothing smoothing the um, uh, smoothing the edX UI onboarding flow is 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 still the most interesting area for you? Like, there's m the more stuff on the filtering. Yeah, potentially. I mean, or just the time zone feature. If we were to take that over, yeah, I think it would definitely be good to get that. Get that. Well, particularly the bug that we have um, now, where it seems to show some events in. I don't know, like for me, I get some in GMT and some in BST, which is just really weird. Um, okay. No, that's, ni well, that's nice to see that I, I haven't got... Um, in, and then, of course, I, yeah, it's not sandboxed, so we get lots of that malarkey. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess... Uh, I don't know if I'll just ping Raul. Uh, Raul, will you join us? So I guess the the thing that would be really helpful would be. If you and Raul and Iggy could run like this thing now where we've got two you know um of the of the likely candidates so i'll say in here so iggy yourself uh Durrell, um would be and i guess even free ranger would be great if uh any all of you could run uh this branch on your local machines uh, and see if it is stable. It contains two of the regularly failing uh, or can several regularly several regularly failing uh, what are they called? Cucumber scenarios um the uh, M setup is completely redone here and they are fully sandboxed or should be. Um, if uh, any of you can get this branch to fail with an intermittent yes, failure, that would be very uh, good to know as um, it will help tell us whether to continue pushing in this uh, direction uh, to get a solution via the clean room approach. Um, Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Um, also, uh, if uh, when doing git status after um, puke runs, you see any changes in the VCR or Billy fixtures. Um, that would be great to know as it would indicate the sandboxing is not yet complete. Okay. So you're on your mobile, so you can't easily 
grab that now and run it. You've gone very faint again. Later. Oh, you'll check it out there. Sure, cool. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, Raul is apparently setting up, so we might see him shortly. Um, so, what's your availability, Michael, for the rest of the the week? Are you gonna have you got more more time available on one day versus another? I should probably be available tomorrow. The rest of the week. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm conflicted because, as I was saying before, I just want to spend all my time coding on this. Um, and then part of me is like, well, you know, I need to get the, you know, I should be spending time increasing the quality of AV102. It's this, uh, you know, I'm conflicted because, you know, maybe, you know, I could spend a lot of time trying to increase the quality of AV102, but maybe that will not necessarily translate into, you know, more people coming into uh, um, adventures or what have you. Um, I mean, I've got the, the two guys who are, so this is Piotr, Piotr and Marwen, who are working on sort of local support in a very, they're not, they're not coming in to hang out so much, they're coming to hang out occasionally. I've done a little bit of pairing with both of them. They're kind of, you know, really, really focused and they're getting some, you know, stuff done, but kind of independently. And, um, you know, I think that's a, it's a lot. It, it's you know, I just love supporting people, sort of, you know, in, in, through the pull requests and you know, occasional hangouts. And uh, uh, you know, part of what we're looking at, you know, the Ad Adventures Premium model is, you know, would these people ever, you know, be willing to pay for that that service? And I'm not necessarily convinced that they they would. Maybe they would. I don't, I don't know. Um, but so, the, if we could just, you know, it, like. And then there are other people who might like mentoring, but I think for other people, it's maybe they would prefer to be mentored on the projects that they want to work on rather than these open source ones that, that we prefer. And the whole model would just, if we could get funding in from the clients, like ultimately the Harrow Council or Law Attraction Harrow, that would just make the whole thing work very sweetly. Do you know what I mean? Like, Yeah. 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 Oh, I see. see and I see, see you on a few of the emails. Um, uh, I'm having with um, law interaction hero and stuff. And so, hmm. hey Raul, how are you going? How are you doing? Hi Sam. Hey uh, Michael, how are you guys doing? We are doing pretty well, I think. Yes. Um, right. We just been reviewing uh, what I was doing this afternoon on website one. Hmm. This and that, bit this and that, and then just sort of chatting. And Michael's on his mobile, and I probably have to go in about fifteen minutes, so I'm probably not going to get much more programming done today. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, but since since you're here, uh, we did we did our stand up report earlier. Do you want to um, just give us an update on wh where things are with you? Um, so after today's stand up, I didn't do much AV wise. I was busy with the, the classes on campus, uh -huh. so I just got back home now. And um, was hoping to connect with you and do some of the merging. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, so then we'll just update uh, update you on what I've been doing, which I sort of told Michael already. But we can sort of see if we look at the overview of the pull requests. So I tried to merge in uh, Brian's Ruby Two Point Three into our clean room, mm -hmm. and that didn't. It didn't go so well, um, mm. uh, and I spent a little bit of time fixing some of the things, and then I was kind of like, mm, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that to one side, and see what see what Brian thinks." I, I note that Brian's uh, 2.3 upgrade by itself works quite quite well for me locally. So yeah. the problems that of doing this may be related to how I've done the merge and, and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, what I Putting that to one side. In the meantime, I um, continue to work on this the clean room branch, and we, I've now added in the documents feature scenario, and uh, along with the scrums feature. So this in this kind of clean room, it's got a clean environment. Um, it's fully sandboxed, 
I hope, uh, for VCR and, and Billy. And it now has both Documents feature and Scrums feature, which are two okay. of the regularly failing things. So I was just putting in a thing. If you, if you it would certainly be very helpful uh, at some point if, if you would do what you did kind of with Brian's branch mm -hmm. and pull this down locally to yourself and run a few times and see if you can get it to throw an intermittent JS failure. Um, okay. Uh, but anyway, that's, you know, you can do that. <laughs> or, you know, that, I mean, we'll hopefully Mike will do that, maybe Fear Angel will do that. We'll, 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 um, but so, yeah, I think that, that, that will be very useful information for me to have today. I guess the question that we have um, about merging things in is whether to merge in um, Brian's 2.3 thing. Yeah. Because um, ultimately that's going to cause a lot of merge conflicts with uh, some of the other pull requests because there's a lot of things that change there. Yes. Um, and I think as regards the, uh, the clean room thing, I think um, that I, I, I don't want to try and merge Ruby 2.3 into it directly or at least certainly not until at least, you know we've done the, the got a few people to test out whether this approach is likely to bear fruit or not I mean it's, it's always going to be somewhat ambiguous um, I mean I would say you know this craft academy replaces makers academy a sponsor that should just that's yeah, like I can a, get through. yeah that's that's like a no-brainer let's merge that in uh, that's I just love simple pull request um, Uh, have we got something else? So uh, the one, the one from Free Ranger, the last one there. Yeah, I should probably rerun the the build there. Okay, so that that's. I mean, he he's then. Yeah, so, so I guess he's he's hoping for you to. I guess, I guess that that's one of the things for you to do is to. Well, we I'll start the build for you. But I guess yeah, you you'll. We discussed this last week, didn't we? And um, yeah, yeah. He's, he's saying he's made the changes that. Uh, Say your documents, which ones are Yeah, the usual suspect. Um, so I'll just uh, open the deployed version of this and check that everything is fine and, and merge this today. Yeah. yeah so everything is okay. Let's have a look at the files changed. I mean, because pretty much. It's, it's basically adding all of these at media things. I mean, I don't pretend to understand exactly what these guys are doing. Um, so it's used for uh, media queries, like to decide what happens when you resize the, the device. Right, uh, so, right. You, so you apply a specific rule for a given size of screen. Yeah. Right, and so the, these are then basically adjusting something so that pretty much all of these, it says screen SM min, so this is these are pretty much all oh, so LG he's adjusting, and, yeah. he's adjusting the spacing on on the, um, the headings and stuff for for every every uh, mobile size versions you have like yeah, for right. your, your your phones and your tablet size and stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes I think the, th the thing that worries me about this pull request the most is just this thing, in that mm -hmm. these are bootstrap elements that we're sort of playing with. I, I guess did we, because we were looking at this, we established that um, that in the did in the default, um, but the you know burger thing on mobile uh, is it's not changing color generally. It's not changing color generally. No, and like when I see this toggle now, it's weird. Um, I mean, I th I think that the the thing that we were talking about with this was that now is this deployed somewhere? Let's see. I guess because it's not, it didn't get deployed because it didn't pass the tests. Um, yeah, the the thing that I noticed was that, um, but the because the burger is like exactly the same color as the background. Mm -hmm. It looks a bit. I think that looks a bit odd. Um, like went like this. Yeah. It looks less like a button and more like someone's drawn a line and put three things on it. But I guess that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's probably better. That that's probably an improvement on the spacing thing that it was from before. So, yeah. 
and and uh, maybe good to get it pulled in. I, I just I'm uh, you know I think in 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 the bigger picture, uh, you know, if for having someone who's relatively fresh out of ventures experiment with something, this is probably not the one I'd have them play around on. But given that it's it's done, hopefully we can merge it and it won't bite us in the arse. But uh, okay. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll leave I'll leave that one with you. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make a release now. Well, deploy, it's not going through. Mm, mm. Um, so, I mean, as I mentioned previously, yeah, for this one, I've got this, I, have, I mean, this funny, it used to be the case that I would just always, you know, read stuff and I just respond and I would just like, you know, let my heart on my sleeve or what have you. Um, I ended up writing quite a long response to this, um, uh, which includes some details about how one would actually do Jasmine testing, which he's talking about. But I'm kind of I'm kind of a bit frustrated that um, he hasn't taken my advice in terms of pushing the JavaScript component into a different pull request so that we can get the simple part merged in and um, you know then play around with JavaScript testing in a different. But anyway, yeah, this is the, this is the new me being being spending ages being very terribly conflicted about how to <laughs> respond to people in pull requests in Slack or something. Like or maybe I was always conflicted and I just pretended. <laughs> anyway, uh, so but I, I, I'm I'm feeling good that I've you know given him some positive feedback in some other pull requests and and so on today. Uh, so anyway, leave that for a moment. So yes, that's. <laughs> Yeah. Now I guess these ones here, these like, this would be trying to wrap them and this, that, and the other wraps. I'm pretty sure I'm believe in DCR. They've gone green. Have you been rerunning any these that w when they were failing? Yeah, I reran them this weekend. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's, that's when they passed. Yeah. 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 I I, I was talking sort of about. Like, oh, it's all green. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I guess then. So finally. You don't know off the top of your head uh, how to. Not, it's not that one. Why am I looking at that one? I was already started it, didn't I? Um, how to deal with this? Your Ruby version. Okay, so I think the problem with that is there is a Ruby version file in, that gets checked into. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I, I entirely understand what the problem is because we have exactly the same problem on Travis. <laughs> In that the gem file version of Ruby is different from the build settings in the in this case Semaphore. The funny thing is that I believe that uh, it seems like uh, Brian on his branch he's managed to like and I know he was playing with the settings he's managed to maybe just make only his branch run with the more recent version of Ruby. And I don't know how he's done it. Um, um, maybe that's why it's failing on yours. Well, uh, yes, I think you know. Well, that's the thing. He's 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 somehow configured it so that it's you know his one has passed here because I, and I assume mm. here he's got some sort of set set up there. There's no dot semaphore file or anything that plugs. So I know I know that when I pulled this code uh, on my machine, I had to change the Ruby version. In the, um, there's a Ruby version file on the um, root of the application, a dot Ruby version, and it was saying 2.2.2. .2 so I had to change that to 2.3.0. Mm, okay, there's a dot RVM thing is there as well. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, mm. So that's well, if I go to here. Uh, I don't see it. Or is it something that I have locally? Uh, just going to share my screen and check it out. Okay. You see, I mean, I have two points. I mean, the the you know, his stuff all runs locally for me. That's that's, that's all good. It does. Um, yeah, it, okay. it, it, it's purely on the on the CI. Um, and I I'll just ask him how he how he did it. But um, I'll maybe put the comment in the pull request. Okay. Um, I'll just ask. 
Mm. Oh, oh, and here I've also got this conflicts must be resolved. I don't know if that came in originally. Was a piggy, um, what setting did you update in? I what it's called. Semaphore to make an individual branch or individual PR run against. I mean, that's just academic interest. I, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, did you find something locally about a different file that you've got? You've, you've got a dot Ruby version of you. I have a dot Ruby version. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I have that, so I haven't. Uh, are you using RVM? Or are you using? Um, no, I'm using RBM. That's why I have this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A separate issue for you then. Okay. So I guess I mean I I'm pretty much uh, about needing to wrap up. I guess the the uh, outstanding question would be to get you know whether we just merge in Diggy's 2.3. Are, are you feeling Raul that there's a a rush that we need to get that in now to allow other things to happen, or, or can we hold off for a little while? Um, well, I think we can just like uh, first merge the previous ones, the, the small fix you have to Billy, to uh, puffing Billy and ah. acceptance test, and um, yeah, I personally need that to. Um, to carry on with my uh, my upgrade, the security upgrade. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, I would say though. I mean, for the to be honest, uh, I I am unclear about. Well, I guess we could merge those in. Yeah. I'm I'm unclear that. Uh, yeah. I guess for for these, I I'm not so. I'm not so worried about whether they get merged or not. Partly because um, they don't seem to have. You know, fix the problem. For, fix the problem in the way that I had hoped. But I guess every every bit of locking down stuff is a, a step in the right direction. So yes, I, I guess in principle, those could be merged in, couldn't they? Uh, yum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess there's no harm. There's certainly, I guess there's no harm in merging those in. Um, this one, I guess, we will close because it didn't seem to. Yeah, to fix it, our problem. It didn't seem to fix our problem. I mean, that'd be something to be considered. Uh, didn't seem to fix problem. Uh, maybe try it again after other changes, if nothing else works. Hi, Michael. Okay. Uh, close and comment. And there is another one about the uh, ten increasing the wait time. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think we I can think close, we'll close that one as well. Uh, yeah, let's just close that. Because uh, I, I, what the interesting thing was is that I experimented with reducing the wait time to like zero point five and whatever, and even with mm -hmm. an extremely low wait time. I couldn't replicate the kinds of errors that we were getting, uh, which okay. makes it seem like, or particular, I mean, I got different kinds of errors. I couldn't replicate those, the kinds of errors that we were getting when things would run in batch. And I think that there's something about, you know, I think we pretty much only see these errors when we run them in batch, and there's some sort of, in batch, yeah. there's some sort of batch, you know, interference that's uh, causing us problems. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So well, anyway, okay. I, I imagine we so, should. So, go, go, go on. So what I'm going to do now is um, uh, I'm just going to push whatever is uh, hanging in develop now to staging. Okay. Um, and then I'll I'll most likely get uh, the wraps a pull request to to develop as well then. And yeah, then. Then we can decide when to merge in um, Brian's pull request. Mm -hmm. Shall I just merge in these two, the, the Scrum feature and the document feature uh, wrapping, these two? Get them out the um, Did you want to do... Look I wanted to merge the... I wanted to push the stuff that I haven't developed okay, first yeah. before I merge that in. Uh, yeah. Right, I'll, 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 I'll leave it, yeah. I, I, I will do that. That's fine. Yes. So, yeah. well, let's... 
I mean, what I particularly like here is if you can can hold off on Iggy's one until at least we've had a chance to um, get this data back from from people on uh, how well this and in hands got conflicts from others. Anyway. Um, yeah. So why do we have conflicts on this one now? Well, there's going to be some other, you know, m minor changes. I, I'm not. I'm not too worried about that. I mean, because th this one certainly shouldn't be. I mean, I'm just going to put the the extra work in progress in this. The, this this certainly shouldn't be merged. Even if this was all green, it shouldn't be marked okay. merged in. This is kind of like a. There'll be a special point in the future at which, and and, and it may be that we never merge this in, and just that we aren't like through doing this. We ultimately understand the nature of the problem, and then we can yeah. fix it somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, okay. but it would certainly be nice to um, know the answer to that. Um, just don't get up before I mention on there. Okay. Oh, he, oh, so, oh, I see. He changed it project wide. Okay. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, ah. What happened? So project wide, and then you change. So so. Yeah, it's it. Well, what it sounds like is that he, I mean, that this, you know, he changed the project-wide settings like globally, this one, and then and then changed it back. It's, it's pointed okay. to three there now, but right, okay. So yeah, bit of a sledgehammer, but uh, all good to know. That was the thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, cool. at some point, I can leave it leave it uh, with you, and we'll uh, I guess we'll coordinate again tomorrow. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks, Raul. Take care. Bye for now. Okay. Have a good evening. Ciao. You too. You too. Take care.